Hey guys, it's Michael. In this video, I'll share the best ways to get data in Thailand and talk about my favorite data providers for the country. So, let's get started. First, I highly recommend Maya Mobile. It's an eSIM provider. What I love about it is that you can easily check the coverage on their website. Clicking on coverage lets you explore specific areas, revealing robust data and network coverage with Maya Mobile. So, just click on coverage, select Thailand, and see what is actually covered. However, it's worth mentioning that Maya's eSIM doesn't have a cell phone number connected to it so you can't make calls, but you can easily use WhatsApp or FaceTime or another equivalent app that only uses data. First, check if your phone is compatible with eSIM. Head to the Help section, then eSIM Compatible Phones to find information on compatible phones. You'll find a variety of phones listed here. Additionally, you can search on Google to confirm if your specific phone is compatible with eSIM. Then, if your device supports eSIM, we can proceed. To start, click the search icon and search for the country or region that you are going to, for this example, Thailand, and if you use the link in the description, you'll enjoy a 10% discount. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. After searching for Thailand, you will be redirected to a page showcasing all the plans Maya offers. There are options for 5, 10, 15, or 30 days of data. So, you can select the data options for 5, 10, 15, or 30 days and choose the desired amount of data. Let's say you need 15 days in Thailand, click Activate Now. Clicking on this will redirect you to another page where you can select your start date and confirm your order. Don't forget to use the link in the description for a 10% discount, ensuring you save money. Here, you can grab 20 gigabytes of data for 15 days at only $28.80. Next, specify the starting date, then click on Review and Pay. Now, you will need to create an account to access and manage your eSIM with Maya. Payments can be made using either a credit card or PayPal. Once the payment is completed, an email containing a QR code will be sent to you. Simply scan the QR code to activate it, which typically takes about a minute. In case you are unable to scan the QR code, Maya also offers a manual code that you can obtain by signing into your account. This ensures you have an alternative method to activate your eSIM. Maya will provide specific instructions if needed. Now you're all set to enjoy using your Maya Mobile eSIM. Another option is using Aerolo. Also, you'll find a discount link for Aerolo in the description. Just search for Thailand and you'll have various options to choose from. And as you can see, Aerolo offers just two packages, 10 days and 15 days. In many countries, Maya outperforms Aerolo in terms of pricing. However, for Thailand, the situation is the opposite. Check out this Aerolo plan offering unlimited data and calls for just $20, valid for 15 days. A fantastic deal. Don't miss out. Click the link in the description and apply my code for an additional discount. So, Aerolo is definitely winning the comparison comparing to Maya Mobile. Maya Mobile is still great, but this is something that Maya Mobile can't even compete for. And there you have it. I hope you found this video useful and learned something new. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to comment below. I will do my best to respond to all comments and provide helpful answers. Thanks for watching, and take care.